This video will cover the topic, writing an exponential function rule given a table of ordered pairs. In this video lecture, we will look at a given table of ordered pairs and learn how to interpret these ordered pairs to find the exp exponential function. Let's take a look at this example. The table of ordered pairs, x, y, gives an exponential function. Write an equation for the function. And we have these ordered pairs given right here. Let's remember that the general model for an exponential function is y equals a times b to the x power, where a is not equal to 0, b is greater than 0, and b is not equal to 1. The number a in this equation is the y-intercept. Because when we plug in 0 for x, that will cause b to be 1, which, when multiplied with a, is just a. Thus, a is the y-intercept. I see in our table that we have the points 0, 9. That's the y-intercept, right? Yes, you are right. The y-intercept is given to us, which means that we know that a equals 9. Because we know that, we can use another point in the table to solve for b. Which point would you like to use? Let's try 1 and 3 halves. Okay. Then plug 1 in for x and 3 halves in for y, and we will solve for b. We have 3 halves equals 9 times b to the first power. To solve for b, we will divide both sides by 9 to get b alone on one side. We arrive at b equals 3 over 18. Can this be simplified? Yeah. If I divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3, this will simplify it to 1 6. So b equals 1 6. Very good. So now we can write the equation. y equals 9 times 1 over 6 to the x power. So. If I have the y-intercept and any other point on the curve, I can figure out what the exponential function is. That's good to know. 